Hey, how you doing? It's Mel Claro, um, screencasting wizard, helping you digitize your knowledge to get it online and web ready. So I'm here for the uh, in Anaheim Hills for the uh, Mary Castle 10K race event. They also have a 5K and uh, some walk events going on as well. But uh, just wanted to uh, uh, wish you all a happy Fourth of July, and also kind of explain one of my posts. Someone asked me about it: um, freedom, resistance, and cooperation. Happy Fourth of July, and what? Uh, where that came from was a number of years ago, little known fact, I spent, my t I spent a little time with a few friends in a prisoner of war camp. Oh yeah, and it was a lot of fun. We spent basically a week starving and getting beat up in a, in a mock prisoner of war camp type of an environment. Um, it was pretty intense. And you spend basically a week getting the snot beat out of you and coerced and indignified in every little way while they try to find little pieces of information that you're supposed to try to resist from them all and so on. But long story short on all of this is on the last day it got really intense um, and you know understand you're starving a whole bunch of you you're tired if you can picture that and you haven't showered in a week so on the last day all we really want to do is just end this whole thing go home of course you don't know when the ending of this thing is going to be that's part of the psychology of it all and you got friends being beat up running around indignified all over the place a couple of um, enhanced interrogation techniques I guess is what they call it now but uh, so some of that, a lot of that stuff was going on. It got really intense. And at one point, they were all trying to get us, the uh, facilitators of this thing, which was the military, right, uh, was trying to get us all to bow and pay homage to this, uh, to this flag, which wasn't the American flag. And I'll tell you, 40 people sitting around, they're tired, they're beat up, and they're starving, and they just want to finish this thing. But, and the resistance is all broken down, but say what you want. But all 40, 40 of us resisted. We did not, and it was just one of those things where we didn't talk about it uh, because you're isolated through this whole thing. Uh, but you didn't talk about it, and but it was one of the things that we all did in unison. We resisted. We didn't bow to this thing. And then I think about what's going on in the in our country today, where we have, you know, we have we we value freedom and we understand that it's all rooted. Our freedom is rooted in resistance, that freedom doesn't come free. But we also seem to have lost a little bit of cooperation. Well, let me not get, get political, but uh, in different facets, I guess, of our, uh, of our daily existence. And I just kind of want to, you know, maybe try to bring it back a little bit, at least in my own little circles, to just focus on those things, uh, that, that cooperation and teamwork is definitely very much a part of what America is built on. And those are the things that I value when I think about the 4th of July and when I spend my time in the military, why I spend my time in the military and what it was I was protecting. Anyway, so freedom, resistance, cooperation. I hope you have a fat, happy 4th of July, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care.